One that I think that we undervalue is actually empowering communities to understand markets for themselves. They're naturally a bit nervous, it's not something they normally do, but it's something that we can hold their hand through that process of discovering what the market opportunity is. Because there are opportunities out there. And actually what I've tended to find that when we have taken them into the marketplace, gave them market training, made them have an opportunity to interact with people who could buy product from themselves, they actually find it a really empowering enterprise and they get quite excited about it. And they, what emerges is, is an enormous amount of social entrepreneurship. Quite surprising and delightful to see in actual fact. Um, so I, f I find that one works well. The other one is, is sometimes that you find with a, a, a promising value chain that there's something blocking it. And sometimes it's not necessarily the direct effect in either working with the people who you want your beneficiaries are, it's actually unblocking something in the value chain which sucks more product out of the rural areas and returns more money to the rural economy. Those would be the sort of two big picture stories I guess I would put across.